Today I wanted to talk about uh, making shear pins, or shear bolts I should say. Um, can't see it really well here, but this, this bolt here um, is just about failed. I had another one failed on the other side. This is from a Kubota BX series tractor uh, front mounted snowblower. And uh, I, I don't have any of these on hand. My dealer is pretty far away, so I need to make a couple of new ones. Uh, so in case we get some more snow here, I've got something on hand and in the machine. So this this bolt happens to be 5 16 inch. It's uh, two and a quarter inches long. And I do have some uh, bolts here that are 5 16 two and a half inches long. And they're grade 5. And that's the same grade as the grade on this bolt. It's got the three lines. Um, so uh, the thing with uh, shear bolts, the important part is when you're, when you're making these, there's a couple things you've got to keep in mind. Okay, number one is the grade. Um, number two is the, uh, the size, right? Obviously that's important. And then the other thing we have to look at is... The distance here so this distance in this case here um, I guess we'll go over the inches is about just just shy of an inch okay so in in that scenario we want to make we know that our inner shaft is about an inch um, so this distance is important because what when these things shear, you want this to shear off in the inner shaft, and you want these parts outside of this area to be in your outer sleeve of your your shaft. Um, there's you know there's two shafts with a with a shear bolt application. So so what we want to do is make sure we match these up, this distance here, and then this total distance to the next um, relief. And today we'll do that on a lathe. You can do this with a drill or a drill press and a file. I used a round file in the past to do this. I, I recently picked up a lathe. This was 150 bucks. I found it from a guy who um, was selling it. It's an old 618 um, Atlas lathe, and it's fantastic. So for doing this stuff, it's really good. Um, but, but like I said, you can do this with a drill or a, or a, or a drill press if you have a a round file so I already have one done this is what it looks like when it's complete and the other thing that's important here is your your tool that you use um, to do your milling with is round it has a radius and the reason that is is when these break off a lot of times if a bolt is shears straight off it'll mushroom out on one side or the other well having that radius gives the metal some place to deform without locking this in your center shaft because if that deforms in your center shaft it's going to be a beast getting it out so what you want to do is have a nice radius cutting tool and then uh, it'll be pretty easy to make so I'm going to just put this in here and get this chucked up um, what I do is I already have this set so I want to make these all the same um, so about 285, and I just transfer that right over to here. Um, and in this case, I already have this carriage set. So I'm actually going to tuck my, my bolt into the chuck to that distance. And uh, then I'm going to crank it down. We'll do the first relief. So the other part that's really important here is your actual relief depth, right? So um, the relief depth on the original part is about 0.23, um, get a couple spots here, 0.23 inches. So um, we want to make sure that our relief depth is the same. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking this 5 16 inch bolt and you're making it weak um, in, in two spots. So you're, you're, you're taking the strength out of it. So you want to make sure that that 
that strength value is the same when you make new ones. Oops. And there we go. We got 0 0.2 to two and a half. So um, we're pretty close here. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out a little bit. And uh, we'll do the next relief. And this relief we have starting at point one point three. So we'll get this and just transfer it over really close. Get it to the edge of my, my tool. There it is. Okay. And this tool has a pretty large radius, so I'm not too worried about it um, being perfectly on center because it, it's making wider than it needs to be. But let's go and take this one. And there we are. Point two. There you have it. We have a shear bolt, um, which when you see where the reliefs line up, they're in the same locations as the other one. It's a little longer. Um, in this application, it's on a snow blower, so it's it's not a real big deal um, because there's there's no confined space there where this is going to get hit on anything. So I'm going to leave it. If it were in a spot where it needs um, a, a certain amount of clearance, you could always knock that off too and and do what you need to do in, in terms of length. But uh, this is the result, and uh, hope this helps somebody, and uh, good luck. If you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.